Okay, check out the augmented reality experience in Chevy. With the help of an iPad, you can see what it's like behind the wheel and see the cool interior features of the Silverado EV, a full-size electric pickup. It has 400 miles of range and can tow 10,000 pounds. Pretty impressive. Now that is pretty impressive just to look at that on the iPad right there. Pretty cool, right? Well, this evening is all about helping uh, those right here in the city. And Glenda is with a special charity tonight. Glenda. Carolyn, Mike, millions of dollars have been raised through the charity preview to help our young people all across our community. And joining us right now is one shining and tangible example of how all of the dollars tonight will go to work to grow our future. We're growing the future of automobiles and we're growing the future of our children. CEO Nicole Wells Stallworth of the Children's Center, welcome. Thank you so much for having me this evening. I really appreciate it. You look fabulous. Fashion is it. Yeah. But it's going to help your children's charity, these yeah. dollars tonight. Yes. Children's Center is one of six charities that will be benefiting from the generosity of patrons who have supported tonight's event, which is major. Children's Center sits in the heart of Midtown Detroit. We've been around for about 94 years. We provide clinical, therapeutic, behavioral and mental health therapy to children in Detroit uh, from infant to 21 years old. And we're really excited to be able to be one of the beneficiaries of tonight's event because these dollars will go towards helping, like you said, to build our children's futures. And being a brand new CEO in July, we so appreciate having you on board. How will this help? Yeah, you know, I think it's really important to recognize that access to mental health therapy, access to social workers, access to adults who really understand how to implement evidence-based practices to help young people deal with the challenges that they face, whether they be emotional, whether they be have experienced some sort of trauma, whether they may be in the foster care system and need help and support. So these funds will help us be able to do that. It's critical and we appreciate everything that you do. Thank you so much for joining us, Nicole. Thank you All so right. much. Carolyn, Mike, back to you. Uh, thank you so much, Glenda, doing such good work in our community. We appreciate them. Now, Ford making headlines with this F-150 this week. Doug North of the Southeast uh, Michigan Ford Dealers is joining us right now. Thank you so much for being with us, Thank sir. you very much for having me, and it's an exciting week. Yeah, <laughs> it, it sure is. is. So the F-150 and Mustang GTD debuted this week. How excited are you about these vehicles? They're fantastic, and, and Ford did such a wonderful job with the evening event for the F-Series and Darius Rucker afterward. And then, of course, last night was the Mustang GTD, which is an all-new product from the ground up, a race car that anybody can drive on the streets. Really, really cool. Just amazing. So how are your Ford dealers preparing for all of the electric vehicles coming on board? Well, we've got a lot to do, and we've been doing a lot. You know, we've uh, been doing all the electrical work, chargers, all the infrastructure, and we're really planning not just for now, but for the next 30 or 40 years. So it's a, it's a big job, but we've got great electric product, uh, particularly that new Maki -E Rally you oh, might yeah. see over there, yeah. a really cool product. And so we're really excited about it. But you know, we're on the very beginning of that. We've got a lot to do yet. That I mean, Maki -E is people, amazing. A lot of people are so excited for the EV future. Doug, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for having Enjoy me. Enjoy the show. Enjoy thank it, you very yeah. much, you too as well. And now let's head over to Keenan Smith on the red carpet. Hi, Keenan. Uh, hey, you know, the move to electrification shows no signs of slowing down. However, it can't be successful unless you can power that vehicle at home. Well, the uh, contractors at NECA and uh, IBEW uh, 58 uh, are ready to help you. They're the Powering Michigan team, and I'm joined now by Tom Middlebrun and Paul Van Oss. And, uh, Tom, tell me a little bit about the EV um, experience that you guys have here. You have a learning center. Tell me a little bit about it. Our Powering Michigan Learning Center is a very wonderful display here at the auto show and it's got our industry partners it's got our contractors it's got our IBW electricians everybody's there to help everybody understand what what this all means and what they can do to make it work in their homes their businesses their factories whatever it takes and the auto show is a great place to have that learning take place now 
Uh, Paul, when folks are ready to make that move to electrification, tell me how you know, IBEW 58 actually helps people make that move. Well, how we help them is we are the best qualified licensed electricians in, you know, I'm going to be biased, right? I'm going to say in the country. Absolutely. Between our training center, our great contractors, and the great 58 brothers and sisters that are EVITP trained, come to us. We're going to make sure you guys are all set up because the home is where it's going to start and we'll build from there. Absolutely, because we have to uh, keep it moving, right? We got to be able to power uh, these cars. And there is an EV track experience here. Very quickly, tell, tell us a little bit about that track experience. It's right behind our booth. You can probably hear the squealing tires from here, but you can drive a whole array of different vehicles. There's professional drivers, and they're going to give you a great experience. It's great to see the people's faces when they get out of those vehicles. And you can see those faces, no doubt, and it is both wonder and excitement, guys. Maybe even a little bit of electrification. Carolyn and Mike, back to you. Absolutely, Keenan. So much excitement with that electrification. We are always learning more about electric vehicles. I want to check out that uh, EV track myself. It makes a difference when you can experience <laughs> it, right? Yes. Well, still ahead, we head over to Ram territory to check out Ram's first electric truck.